Mark, good to see you. Brian, good to see you. <laughs> yep. Happy New Year to you. And to you as well. All right, coming up on this uh, March primary, getting ready uh, for that, uh, one of the topics that we were talking up about before the show was term limits. Texans want it. We think the nation wants it. What are you hearing? Well, you're absolutely right, Brian. It's, it not, it's just not a Texas thing. It's, uh, it's in all 50 states. And, and, you know, there's been a number of politicians to um, one politicians that have retired and, and ones that are currently in office that have espoused the, the idea of, of, of term limits. We even have some here in Texas. Um, <clears throat> but what, what they haven't done, which I intend to do, is act on it. So I think the term limits are extraordinarily important for, for one reason, is it, it roots out cor uh, corruption in the system. So uh, I'm not going to point my finger at anyone, but to say that uh, my, my concept of term limits is that you should have objectives and, and, um, and certain goals that, that you, that you want to accomplish, whether you're running in the lower chamber or the, or the higher chamber of, of Congress. And if you can't get it done within a term, within a certain time frame, then you should move on or you should accomplish those goals and, and go on. The idea, the way I've said it kind of on the stump is that, is that you know, is that um, uh, politicians should not make Congress their second home. Yeah, right? and, it, and you also see it in the private life. I mean, a company wouldn't keep somebody on staff that no. wasn't performing, so why should the government? Right, and the approval rating for most of them up there is very, very low. And, and you know, uh, my, the, my opponent, the person I'm running against, has a less than 35% approval rating in the state of Texas. And so, you know, if, 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 this, if he's successful this time around, you're talking about 24 years in Washington. Mm -hmm. You know, Texans don't want that. They really don't. And it, it's not... It's not just for this, you know, for, for, for this particular individual, but it's for, for all of them. Yeah. You know, they, they need to be turned out. Listen, we have the, you know, the president is, you know, the, the executive branch is like that. They have, they have two terms. So, you know, if you, if you look at folks like Pelosi and, and McConnell, uh, the list goes on, uh, Cornyn and the rest of them. I mean, uh, McConnell's been there for something like 40 years or something. Right. I mean, so it's, it, it just, it, it's, 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 it needs to stop. Let's talk about education real quickly. That's yeah. on a lot of people's mind as well, sure. obviously. Uh, what's your, uh, your, your ideas on that? Well, I think it needs to be handled at the state level. You know, it's, it's much better. We've got an extraordinarily, um, an exemplary school system in, in most districts of the 254 counties that we have in the state of Texas. And we happen to be fortunate here in, in Dallas where we are, where we live around school districts that are, are exemplary. They're, you know, they're very, very good. The Department of Education is a complete waste. Um, there's no way, in, in the Constitution, in, in uh, Section 1, uh, Article 8, it states nowhere in there that there is, uh, by the power of the purse, the, uh, the, uh, to use taxpayer money to fund something called the Department of Education. So it, it, needs, to be, it needs to be abolished. Now, <clears throat> along those same lines, there's been a number of politicians, including the one that I'm running against, who is, has, has espoused, as I go to Washington, I am going to abolish the Department of Education. Well, that person has been there for 19 years, and it's still there. And it costs the American taxpayers, I've seen different numbers, but somewhere between 65 and $80 million, excuse me, billion dollars a year. I would uh, advocate for taking that money, and on a pro rata basis, based on the size of the state, we have 28 million people here, we have 40 million in California, that type of thing, New Hampshire is, you know, about this big. So we just, on a pro rata basis, we take that money by abolishing the Department of Education and distribute it to the states. So our, our kids are going to be much better off, the educators are going to be better off, the children are going to have a better outcome, and the administrators are going to have a, b a better outcome if it's run at the state level as opposed to the bureaucracy back in Washington. There you go. As you get ready for your March run up against John yeah. Cornyn. I've uh, been traveling the state, staying uh, busy, right? Yeah, we're, yeah every, every day we're doing something. It's, uh, it's, non it's non-stop. It's like drink, drinking from a water hose. But we're, 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 having a, we're having a great time and, and, and really enjoying meeting, you know, a lot of people that, you know, in the, in the great state of Texas. And, you know, the, the, the more we get out, the, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's just amazing. We, we've been kind of in our own bubble since I've been in the private sector for 33 years, right. you know. And so now I'm all over the state and I'm meeting all walks of life and I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Best website for someone to get more information about you? It's voteformark.com is, uh, is, is, is my website. And of course, uh, Facebook has uh, our Facebook uh, has a, which is uh, uh, Yancey for U.S. Senate has a, a you know it has a lot of information. Um, there's about uh, 2,000 plus followers on there, and a lot of exchanges of data on there. There you go. Thanks for joining us. Okay, thank you.